The Rajya Sabha elections in Himachal Pradesh, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh have turned into a veritable political thriller with questions being asked as to whether the Congress can survive in Himachal Pradesh. Even as Rahul Gandhi is away at Cambridge University, his party is facing a crisis in Himachal Pradesh, the only northern state in India now where the Congress is in government. This after Six Congress MLAs appear to have voted for the other side alongside three independents who also support or supported Sukhvinder Sukhu's government in Himachal Pradesh. There has been cross-voting in the other two states as well. In Uttar Pradesh, an estimated eight Samajwadi Party MLAs have voted for the other side. And in Karnataka, it's been the reverse kind of cross-voting with one BJP MLA voting for the other side and another staying away. In the shadow of this cross-voting, the Congress, as I said, is facing a veritable crisis in Himachal Pradesh, where, denying rumours of his impending resignation, Chief Minister Sukhu described himself as a Yodha, Yodha, a man at war, and said he would fight the battle till the finish. But in the meantime, other Congress leaders like Navjot Sidhu, showing Punjabi plain speak, have called for a purge of the Congress party. What does he mean precisely? And what happens next? Will the Congress lose Himachal Pradesh? What are the messages from Uttar Pradesh and Karnataka? In Karnataka, there has also been an ugly battle between the BJP and the Congress. The BJP claims pro-Pakistan slogans were raised after the victory of a Congress member of parliament in these polls. The Congress says it's all rubbish, it's lies, it's a doctored video. A lot to talk about. Let's introduce our guests on the program today as we look at the larger implications of these results and these developments. Dilip Cherian, uh, brand guru, political analyst, commentator is with us. Dilip, always a pleasure to have you with us. Also joining us is um, BJP senior leader, Dr. Dharinder Tayal. Uh, always a pleasure to have you with us. Namaskar, sir. Tehseen Punawala, diehard Congress supporter with some words of criticism for the party. How will he react today? We'll find out. Also joining us is Anurag Naidu, typically a supporter of the BJP and the government. Does he agree with the kind of controversy they've raised in Karnataka? We'll find out. And Salman Soz, tasked with the tough job of defending the Congress on a difficult day for the party, uh, is also with us as well. Uh, I will, of course, um, uh, play out for you reactions that have come in from Abhishek Singhvi, uh, from Veerbhadra Singh, son, a minister in the Himachal Pradesh government, uh, Vikramaditya, who has uh, also stepped down and stepped aside. DK Shivakumar, the Congress's troubleshooter, is in Himachal Pradesh. Salman, I'll start with you. Uh, what's, the big, what's the big message? Uh, the Congress is being accused of mishandling the entire situation. Some are calling Dr. Singhvi an outsider in Himachal Pradesh. Others are saying the warning signs have been ignored. Um, after all, Vikramaditya even attended the Pran Pratishtha in Ayodhya, signaling his uh, his unhappiness. And Rahul Gandhi, in the middle of all of this, is away at Cambridge University. Your response, uh, Salman? I don't. I don't really understand how uh, this is mishandling because uh, we have forty MLAs uh, plus three independents, and the other side is twenty five. Uh, in fact, if uh, if there was a, a you know if this was a, a, a regular democracy, then uh, people would say that you know the Congress uh, uh, is the ruling party. They have the numbers, and the Rajya Sabha MP uh, would be from there. As far as uh, uh, Mr. Singhvi, who's a, a one uh, a great constitutional expert, uh, he uh, he's the kind of person who should be in the Rajya Sabha uh, by all accounts uh, on his own individual performance as a citizen. He should be there. To call him an outsider, I don't. Uh, I mean, maybe people should be looking at uh, where uh, uh, BJP, not just BJP, other uh, party uh, Rajya Sabha nominees also come from. There is no stipulation that somebody has to be from Himachal Pradesh. And I, I, this is across parties. So uh, the BJP is bent upon destroying a democracy in India. I think they've done it's de facto. There is no democracy, uh, right, as far as I can tell. They can they what, have money power. What, what, they have what, media what, what, power. Do, what do you mean there's no democracy? You, your, your three members of parliament have just won in Karnataka. How would they win if there was no democracy? What I what, yeah exactly so uh, Barka what I mean is that if 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 it if uh, one were to leave uh, things to the Modi government they would basically make sure that nobody contests against them that's the their whole goal is that there should be one party uh, there should be a one party system in this country they they take the inspiration from uh, the Chinese Communist Party and of course uh, when it comes to China invading us they say nothing 
So they're very smart about it. But I think what is going to happen in this country, and it's already happening, uh, voices of dissent, voices of opposition, this opposition Mukht Bharat, the kind of uh, uh, phenomena that Mr. Modi and his party are unleashing in the country, do not be surprised. By the way, I come from a state where the entire political leadership was arrested in one go. So do not be surprised if that happens to all of but can us. I, but, but can I ask you a brief question before I open this up? You made two big statements. You said there's no effective democracy. If the BJP wanted, there would be nobody standing uh, against them. But as I say, in Karnataka, the Congress has done well. Uh, secondly, 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 uh, the fact of the matter is that the troubled signs, you know, the signs of trouble within in Himachal Pradesh have been ignored for some time. I point you to uh, Vikramaditya, who has resigned today, who attended uh, the Ayodhya Mandir ceremony in defiance of the party line. Wasn't the Congress looking the other way? And, and thirdly, you talk about the BJP, you know, playing by unfair means. Uh, there has been cross-voting in Karnataka as well. And it's just reversed. The BJP has, at least one BJP MLA has cross-voted and another has stayed away. Barakai, I'm sorry. This, this, uh, this uh, even-handedness is un uh, unfortunately this doesn't really work. This does not suit you. I think the reality is that this party just, just in the last few weeks, according to an Indian Express report that, that came out today, had printed electoral bonds worth a billion dollars in the run-up to the elections. A billion dollars. Okay. Okay. Which now the Supreme Court said is illegal. These guys have the money, they have the media power, they have control of all the institutions. They'll send all sorts of investigative uh, agencies after you and they will throttle you. They'll do anything to, to basically make you yield. And by the way, you can, there is no comparison between Karnataka and uh, Himachal Pradesh or Uttar Pradesh. If somebody from Karnataka leaves, do not for a moment think that is because somehow the government of Karnataka or the Congress party is basically hammering them and saying, you have to join us. It is probably maybe they're just sick and tired of the BJP for some reason. Maybe there's some personal stuff. Okay. But here, there is no there is no comparison. So I, I, this whole business of uh, even handedness and uh, I think okay. that, that, that I think I, is I, totally I, ludicrous. Okay, I let the BGP leader uh, and spokesperson respond to that. But before I come to Dr. Tayal, I want to play out Veer Bhadra Singh's son, a minister in the Himachal government, uh, expressing great grief, saying his father's memory had been insulted. He couldn't even get a statue installed in his memory at the Mal Road uh, and making a whole lot of other points, uh, but really reflecting the crisis that is unfolding in the only North Indian state in which the Congress is in government. Uh, listen it. मैं आज केवल इस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस के माध्यम से ये कहना चाहता हूं कि वर्तमान परिस्थिति में मेरा इस सरकार में बने रहना ठीक नहीं है इसलिए आज मैंने ये निर्णय लिया है दैट आई एम रिजाइनिंग फ्रॉम द काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स मैं इस सरकार से एक मंत्री के रूप में इस्तीफा Dr. Tayal, there has already been the Supreme Court's very scathing indictment of what happened in the Chandigarh mayor elections. But let's talk about Himachal Pradesh. Veer Bhadra Singh's family was raided by tax authorities on the day that a wedding was taking place in that family. I'd be surprised if you were suddenly feeling... Uh, very empathetic towards his son. Uh, what is your reaction to the Congress's allegation, both Abhishek Singhvi and Jaina and Ramesh, saying that this has been done by unfair means? Uh, Dr. Singhvi used the word Bisharmi. Dr. Tayal, what do you say? So very interesting, all of it. I mean, like uh, Salman said that, you know, those people who did not vote or cross-voted in Karnataka, they were the ones with a conscience. But the people who cross-voted in Himachal, obviously, uh, as congressmen, had no conscience at all. Hmm. So that is, who's going to buy that? And uh, suddenly he says that they've got a billion dollars or something like that. I mean, this is the same Congress which has 4.8 lakh crores of scams. That so number is from, that number is from where? That What's number has been released by the party. You want a breakup? I'll give you a breakup. So... Coal scam is 1.8 lakh crores. 2G spectrum is 1.7 lakh crores. Manrega is 10 lakh crores. 
CWG is 70,000 crores. I, I, I challenge I, that because this is ridiculous. I, I, when the Prime Minister has been running this country for 10 years, this is all ridiculous. They keep so spreading you, this stuff. I'm sorry, uh, Barkha, you must challenge this because this is no, ridiculous. I, 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 Not I think, one conviction so far in 10 years. So the, I, the, I, the, I, the, 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 everybody is basically no, destroying that. Well, okay, 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 no, 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 please don't shout. Please but you, but, but oh, you should not be. Oh, there are no buts, Mr. Sauls. You will. Your turn will come. Okay, please, Dr. Tayal, Dr. Tayal, let me ask the question. Salman, hang on. Just give me a moment. Dr. Tayal, you're taking the conversation in a different direction, in a rhetorical no, I'm, direction. I'm, I'm one minute. Somebody, one, one minute. Okay, let me. Let me said, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's try okay. and keep it civil and let's move on. The, the the question that I am asking you is to now be invoking in 2024 as the BJP is hoping of a third term. Uh, you know, scams, allegations of corruption, uh, cases in which even the courts, the highest court, have not yet uh, convicted uh, convicted anybody. You know, we can have a debate on coal and Toji another day. Let's let's stay on Himachal. What do you say to the allegation that the Congress has made that basically their MLAs, this is horse trading, money power, muscle power that's being used to bring over their you know their people to your side? Please do respond to that. Yeah. So one thing which has been brushed under the carpet very sweetly is the fact that it is bad politics on Congress part. Okay. They took it for granted. He says that is not regular democracy. What is regular democracy? You feel I have the numbers, everything is okay. You can ride roughshod over your people. Today, people who are quitting, I mean, any number of people today, the paper clearly says several of the Congress MLAs have spoken to Priyanka Gandhi and said, we don't want to work under Sukhu the way his, he's running the state. Who is to blame? You choose, he says, I mean, you, you, you can't throw the law at me and say, yes, anybody can contest from anywhere. Sure, anybody can contest from anywhere. We all know that law. But the fact is, we need to understand the character of a particular state. Himachal, Congress came back to Himachal because Himachal has a cycle. So you have to understand what happens. Congress came back. Now in Himachal, never ever has Congress sent a somebody from outside the state to Rajya Sabha. And Anand Sharma was waiting in the wings for his ticket. Now okay. you offend your own people. You can't handle your politics. Please, a lot of times, I mean, all the gurus tell you, look within. The answers are within, look within. And what, what kind of a party are we talking about today? I mean, it was a I party of... 400 people, 400 uh, MPs. Do you, do, 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 do you believe, so, Dr. Tayal, before I go to Dilip Cherian, do you believe, because there is a flow, there is a de facto floor test for the Congress tomorrow uh, when a, a, a key bill, a financial bill has to be voted on. Is it your estimation that the BJP is seeking to form the government in Himachal Pradesh? What, what, what are you saying? I think, I mean, although uh, probably Sukhu was reported to have resigned and then he said, I haven't. Yes. So it does seem that they have uh, they have lost the confidence of their own people. But there is one, uh, uh, Barkha, there is one uh, part I would certainly want to respond to uh, from what Mr. Sos said. He talked about BJP behaving like the Chinese Communist Party. Now, it is Congress which is in bed with the Chinese Communist Party. Till now, we have no clue what that MOU contains. I mean, if they were so clean, clean with which that MOU. Which, which has been, which has which been signed by which has been signed by Mr. Rahul Gandhi with the uh, Communist okay. Party. Okay, Salman, do you want to respond to that? He, he, and then he, I, I need to open this up. I need to open this up. So Salman, keep it brief. Salman, I would just say that if if uh, if there is such an MOU and the government of India is not aware, then the Prime Minister of this country should resign. If he cannot even get to this basic information, that shows the incompetence of the BJP, the, this government. Okay. Why are you? Okay. Why are you tom toming okay. your incompetence? Okay, okay, okay Doctor Tayal and Salman, hold your horses. We are not being fair to the Just leave. one line. Anybody, yeah. any, any of your viewers can just Google it. In a minute, the picture will pop up. So okay. the, it is all there. In a minute, the okay. picture will pop okay. up. Okay. Right. Okay. Perhaps the okay. prime minister should take some action against uh, uh, the Rahul Gandhi, and also maybe he should take action against the okay. Chinese who are okay. sitting in two thousand we... square kilom kilometers of our territory. Okay. Can I please request both of you to now allow Dilip and Tehseen to speak? They've been waiting patiently. They've heard the BJP and the Congress go for each other officially. Now let's bring in Dilip and then Tehseen. Dilip. 
uh, what's the big message, right? There's been cross voting not only in Himachal Pradesh, in Uttar Pradesh, in uh, in Karnataka, the other side, by the way, the BJP has cross voted. At least one person has stayed away, one person has cross voted. If the Congress loses Himachal, if DK Shiva Kumar isn't able to contain this crisis, um, and we don't know yet, if the Congress is effectively nowhere in power in the North, there are larger implications here. Uh, Dilip Charyan, please go ahead. Thank you, Barka. First, uh, in the spirit of full disclosure, Harsh Mahajan, who is one in Himachal, is my brother-in-law. So, having said that, um, yes. as a political analyst, what I have been watching is something that could have been predicted merely by reading the newspapers. The, mm. the fact is that cross-voting, whether it is in Karnataka or in Himachal, takes place after multiple expressions of frustration with the existing state government have happened. Now, the nature of Rajya Sabha voting is that the transparency is instant. Therefore, you know who has cross-voted, who has abstained. It, it would really be politically foolish for anyone to say that they did not expect what happened in Karnataka or what happened in Himachal not to have happened. Now comes the issue of what goes on behind. What goes on behind is that very often, and much too often for a democracy, is the tone deafness of governments once they are elected. They just refuse to wake up and smell the smell cordite, which is going to explode behind them or beneath them and that is really the problem when leaders listen to the sound of what's going on around them for example if you don't know that one of your cabinet colleagues is about to resign then there is definitely a problem in the way a chief minister is running the state if yeah. you don't expect that cross voting will happen in karnataka when people as savvy as DK Shiv Kumar are in charge of what's going on there, then you should you have no reason to be surprised. So I think we need to understand that we've moved into a phase of political double speak across the board. So yeah. that is something that we as watchers, as media, and as citizens need to understand. And we can choose whether we want to accept it or not by voting yet again. I think those are some great points. And that's what I've been trying to understand, that how could the Congress not have known that there was a problem with Vikramaditya when he attended the Mandir ceremony in defiance of the party line? Like you said, Dilip, uh, and, and thanks for that transparency that Harsh Mahajan is your, your wife's brother. And But the point is larger questions here, right? The larger questions are, the BGP should have also expected this is par for the course in Karnataka, but they're seen. And then I'll come to you, uh, Anurag. I was wondering where you'd gone. I wasn't seeing you on my screen, so it's good to see you now uh, at Tehsi. You still feeling optimistic about anything? There's a famous uh, song from Itna Jo Muskara Rahe Ho, Kya Gam Hai Jis Ko Chupa Rahe Ho. Ab How Much Gam But Tehdi On Sir, Congratulations, Dilip. Uh, while I do want the Congress to win, families first, brothers, brothers, <laughs> wives, brothers, the most important in the family. So, <laughs> <our> congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I know about my wife's brothers. So jokes apart. <laughs> but 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 <laughs> good but, one, but, good but, one. <laughs> but but <laughs> but, go on, go on. but uh, jokes but uh, jokes apart. Look, um, the fact is, and I've said this on your podcast, and I'm going to repeat it. The difference between Prime Minister Modi and Rahul Gandhi, if you were to do a man-to-man -man comparison, isn't too much of a difference. Of course, the Prime Minister has a lot more political experience, but Rahul Gandhi's fairly well read he's he 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 has knowledge he's been a parliamentarian for a number of years all of those things the massive difference whether whether the difference between the two becomes stark is the support team of the prime minister amit shah ji jp nadda ji upinder yadav ji just look at those men they are alphas i don't want to speak anything about this side of the divide but you Ooh. sometimes wonder what is going on how do you take on this man on your screen amit shah ji I mean, he is, or Aditya Nath ji, or J.P. Nadda ji. J.P. Nadda lost Himachal. He's come back and avenged it. Mm. The minute, the minute you had 43 uh, MLEs 
and the BJP with 25 MLAs fielded a former Congress MLA to contest the election. Basic kindergarten politics tells you they are up to something. And it's JP Nadda's state. And he will want to avenge a defeat. It's a state where the Prime Minister may, uh, said, and I quote the Prime Minister, do not look at the candidate, look at Lotus and vote for me. This is my second vote. That was, you, your light, your, your bulb should have gone on there. You should have had somebody like a Bupinder Huddain and Ashok Gehlot right then and there because Ashok Gehlot had already helped Mrs. Gandhi sail through. They should have been sitting there right then and there. I understand DK could not have come because DK had to make, ensure that out of the three candidates in Karnataka, one who can who cannot win and whatever he had to do had to go through. So DK had to be in Karnataka, but the, at least Bupinder Huddain and Ashok Gehlot could have immediately moved to Himachal along with Rajiv Shukla and they could have managed that situation. It is basic politics. We so can you blame, cry here and say, you blame, we are, you, we can cry. who do you blame? Who we do you can, blame? Who do you look, blame? We can cry that we don't have democracy. We can cry that we are the underdogs. The fact is, in Karnataka, we we hit the BJP hard. In in Telangana, we are splitting the BRS. We're completely splitting the BRS. Uh, in Andhra Pradesh, those who are against Jagan are now finding options either with the Congress or with Sandra Babu Naidu because BJP doesn't have a future in Andhra. We are doing that there, wherever there's power. You can argue, is it moral or is it moral? We can go into the morality argument. We are doing it there. And I've long argued politics is about being the alpha. We are no longer the alpha in politics. We are, we are living in a vague parallel universe where we think that everybody is going to play by some moralistic rules, which is our which is our version of morality. If morality is so correct for us, why are we doing in Karnataka what, what BJP is doing in Himachal? So morality can't be selected. One. Number two, we have to give back 10 times harder than what the BJP gives us. 10 times harder. And sorry, Dilip, even if it's if it's your brother-in-law, if we have to win, the dharma is we have to win. Hook or cook, Sam, Dam, Dan, we have to win. Are you telling me, are you telling me that we did not know who the people close to Vikram Aditya Ji were? We didn't know if those phone calls were made. We could, mm -hmm. The chief minister, along with Hudda Ji and Gelo Ji, hypothetically, could not have had meal, promised them a ministry ship. There are lots of things. If you're chief minister of a state, you're a king of a state. You can do a lot, but you must be able to be able to do it. One last thing. I think okay. the Congress should really think, one last thing. Why are talented people like Sachin Pilot um, and etc. not there. And who are the people who are now running the show? I think it should reflect upon it. You started with a comment of one of the leaders from Punjab. He is the reason why. Siddhu, 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 he's, Siddhu. He's, the, he's calling for a purge. He, he's calling for a purge. He is the, the reason who purged party. Punjab. He purged Punjab. We lost captain. We lost captain to Siddhu. I think we should pause and think and take a step forward. Okay, hang on. Now, you've said a lot of things. Before, I, I want to take it back to Dilip. But first, Anurag has been waiting very patiently. And Anurag, I have a question slightly outside of Himachal, also connecting the dots to Karnataka. Uh, the fact is that I think as both Dilip and Tehaseen have made this point, the cross-voting, when the Congress is determined to fight, it does fight. It has fought in Karnataka. It has ensured the cross-voting of one uh, legislator, ensured another legislator stays away. In turn, we've seen a kind of unseemly spat break breakout between the BJP and the Congress. The BJP claims pro-Pakistan slogans were chanted after the win of one of the members of parliament, Nasir Hussain. The Congress says, bilkul jhoot and so on. Uh, if you were looking at the larger picture, what would you, what, what do you take away? Well, Barka, you know, although Tessin covered for all of the points, but you made a very interesting point. Barka, you said Congress, wherever Congress feels like fighting, they fight, whether it's Karnataka or Telangana. But, you know, there's a mistake in understanding, Barka. Congress doesn't fight here. It is one person called DK Shikumar who picks up the fight for him himself. In Telangana, it is Revan Tridi. You know what Revan Tridi said in the recent statement? Then KCR said that he's going to win in Telangana. Revan Tridi openly in, the, in a media interview said, I dare I challenge them. If he can run faster than me, I challenge him. If he's going to poach, I'm going to poach 100 of his. So th that's a kind of bold statement which Raven Reddy made. No other leaders in Congress. So the yeah. Congress high command, whether say, for example, let's say number two in BJP. You're talking about number two in BJP. Who is number two, number three, number four in Congress? Who is only around the Gandhi family or one person who wants to be visibly seen around Rahul Gandhi, Mr. K.C. Venugopal, who, who's supposed to be coordinating the elections. You, you have nowhere to be seen. And uh, Barka, let's also understand, even if somebody like Abhishek Manu Singh in Himachal, right, he has been nominated by the high command. There is a culture that high command has said, Sukhu dekh lega, mera kaam ho gaya. You know, I, it reminds me of Ahmed Patel's Gujarat election. You know, that the, the nail yeah. biting finish. I still remember Barka. The two, two votes were there for NCP. Praful Patel was coordinating. 
the heavy phone calls from amit shah and ahmed patel one vote was needed you know one more vote ahmed patel would have lost i mean i don't want to go into the story but i'm saying everything mr mr singhvi could should have gone to himachal sat with suku bhai whatever is the differences i know but this seat is important for me whatever it takes let's fight it out i will talk to each and every mla i will give them whatever they want i will facilitate but we need to win mr singh we yeah. cannot sit in delhi telling that high command and dekh liya so there is so, a kind of a culture that we see in congress and so, that so, is so in a in, in a way you're blaming singh dr singh we for his own also loss. yes of course he has got the nomination he should have been sitting with suku he should have fought his own election that's fine i mean there are differences everyone knows that vikramaditya is not happy right from the day suku was made the chief minister do you want a sentence there you want a sentence there i want to play out dr singh we statement and then come to dilip yeah tehsi yeah while i agree with what uh, tushar is saying on 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 the organizational general secretary particular ahmed patel ji uh, dr singhvi was in shimla he was in shimla for the last two days he uh, including yesterday he was in shimla and two days prior to that he was i noticed for a fact because because a matter of a matter of mine he had to appear on he 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 had to recuse himself to hire mukul because he was in shimla i noticed for a fact also okay, anurag complete so he was in shimla. anurag complete your point briefly barka, i want to play barka, out singhvi statement barka barka it it's, barka it's very naive to say ki main do din pehle election ke gaya the election does not happen in like do din pehle ya teen din pehle There's, there was no battle for him, Mr. Singh. We and when he has numbers, he should have been put in the whole okay. team. Okay. Yes. 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 Here's what Abhishek Singh we had to say. He used the word "bisharmi." Uh, he was obviously very agitated. Take a look. कोई पार्टी 25 और 43 के आंकड़े या इक्वेशन में 25 वाली पार्टी 43 वाले के विरुद्ध उम्मीदवार खड़ा करती है, तो उसका एक सिर्फ एक और एक ही संदेश हो सकता है और मैं हर्ष महाजन जी की बात नहीं कर रहा हूं मैं इस चुनाव की बात नहीं कर रहा हूं मैं एक सिद्धांत की बात कर रहा हूं वो संदेश है कि हम बेशर्मी से वो करेंगे जो कानून में अनुमति जिसकी नहीं है अगर आप समझते हैं कि एक व्यक्ति या दो व्यक्ति या नौ व्यक्ति अचानक एक नई नीति एक नई सोच एक नई आइडियोलॉजी के अंतर्गत कल रात के डिनर और आज सुबह के नाश्ते के बाद बदल गए हैं तो मैं समझता हूं कि हम सब जो अंग्रेजी में कहावत है एक फूल्स पैराडाइज पे रहते हैं दिलीप चेरियन डू वांट टू टेक दैट इज दिस अबाउट प्रिंसिपल्स और आर दोस प्रिंसिपल्स एज करोडेड ऑन ऑल साइड्स सलमान वुड से दैट दैट इज इवन हैंडेडनेस दैट डजंट सूट मी व्हाट डू यू से आई थिंक दैट व्हाट अभिषेक सिंघवी सेड क्लियरली शोस that here was a man who was expecting principles of the kind that we haven't seen in play in politics for quite a long time to suddenly come to his rescue mm-hmm. foolish second the fact is that you know you cannot be sitting in delhi and expecting the high command and a extremely uh, disoriented suku to win the battle for you why do you call I him agree. disoriented can you yeah, elaborate on that disoriented sukhu you have to be disoriented to not see that when a harsh mahajan files his nomination for rajya sabha you know that this is a man who has deep and truly strong relationships in the congress which is where he was for many years so you should actually be pressing panic buttons with all your fingers did you see that happen no you did not most people who watched it said that they assumed that there would not be that kind of cross voting which eventually happened and mm-hmm. let me say that this indicates not just disorientation but also a, a, a slight i mean a high level of uh, shall i say uh, arrogance of power that i am here everybody is going to follow me the high command has made me the chief minister and therefore everybody better shut up and fall in line it isn't the way politics is happening now in any state under any party salman uh, and then uh, dr tyal salman lot has been said uh, but the basic upshot seems to be how did sukhu not see this coming one two don't make a moral argument if you're going to deploy the same approach where you can i e karnataka I I still believe that there is no comparison between what is happening uh, you know the, the 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 whole politics in India is basically asymmetric right there is no there is no 
level playing field in this country as far as uh, the electoral process is concerned. Whether we, you know, we can all say that oh, the Congresses are now crying and, you know, they, they're so pit, uh, pitiful and, you know, they, these guys can't fight elections and all that. But the fact of the matter is that there is a political party that has a huge, massive advantage as far as money is concerned. That is a massive advantage as far as media is concerned. That is a huge incumbency kind of uh, advantage as far as institutions, public institutions are concerned, especially those that can throttle you. Today, by the way, as we as we speak, Akhilesh Yadav has been invited by the CBI uh, to have a meeting. Basically, he's been summoned. While opposition members, leaders will be, uh, you know, uh, summoned by the ED and the CBI, maybe income tax, who knows, the BJP, despite all of its advantages, will go and start, you know, they'll obviously campaign, they'll do all the good things, yeah. because there's, or, you know, BJP people are dood ke dule, and, and all opposition is corrupt. So what do you do? So, so my, I, I do think, I do think there's one thing that all, the opposition can do, and we need to do a much better job of that. And that is, we change the game. Because if Modi, Amit Shah and others want to play this game, then the Congress and the other opposition uh, uh, parties that want to defend moment, democracy will have to play by different rules and will have to play asymmetric poli uh, asymmetrical all, politics. All, all I was trying to say is that at the moment, you're playing by the same rules. Otherwise, Karnataka uh, you know, would not have happened in the way that it is. You, can, you make the point that you need to change uh, the, 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 the rules. Uh, but uh, but yes, okay, you don't fully... But agree. we're playing by the constitution. We're playing by the constitution that okay. is in India. Every, that that, is, that every, is our legacy. Everyone that wants to react. Doing. Everyone wants to react to what you've said. I'll give Tehseen one sentence, then Dr. Tayal, Anurag, and then Dilip in that order. Tehseen, brief interjection, then Dr. Tayal. Yeah. No, no, Tehseen. I completely agree with Salman. I completely agree with Salman. BGP is a massive advantage. We know all of that. That's true. But the fact is, and I also agree with him, we need to change the rules. There were so many advantages that, and, and despite the ma massive advantage the BJP has, data shows us that Prime Minister Modi himself cannot take the BJP to a guaranteed victory in state elections. He's losing popularity, not in Lok Sabha, but in state. We know the data shows us. Despite the massive advantage, the BJP, except in Uttar Pradesh and few cities in Madhya Pradesh, don't cross 50%. The opposition is very strong. The point is the opposition needs to now, as Salman said, play another game. Let me forget the, all the advantages the opposition has. Let me ask with one example. 146 MPs thrown out of parliament in the most crude manner and, and in my opinion, very draconian bills passed. What did the opposition do? The country politically should have come to a standstill. What did the opposition do? You can't blame anybody else. Mock, mock the vice president. They took a chakkar around Jantar Mantar. Think if 146 BJP MPs were kicked out and Salman will agree with me. The country, Dilip will agree with me. The country would have come to a standstill. We Jantar Mantar ka chakkar mara nahi mock the vice president. 146 hmm. MPs. Think about it. What's okay. Okay. Dr. Tayal, Dr. Tayal, the shadow of the Chandigarh mayor elections, and I, I know you, you know, given that the case is in court and all of that, you won't say much about it, but I reference it only to say that it is added to this allegation that comes from the Congress that the BJP will do anything. This is not a fair and square contest of equals anymore, the misuse of the ED and the CBI, Akhilesh Yadav summons by the CBI. How do you respond? 9th May 2013, Congress was in power and the Supreme Court said CBI is a caged parrot. So Mr. Soz uh, can refer to that. So, I mean, where he says we come from a legacy, I think the legacy is of a caged parrot. So let's be very clear on that count. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the party, the party of the emergency is talking about um, high, high, high morals. Let's understand. So today they're saying it's no longer a level playing field. Yes, it isn't. This is the two member party which has grown itself on its own strength and their fantastic leadership has taken a 400 MP party to a 44 MP party. I, like I said at the beginning of the or, or, you know, or, or of this uh, program that the answers lie within. Mr. Okay. Uh, Singhvi, Mr. Singhvi has said, when he is standing up to another candidate, so one of the messages is they are up to something. So you knew what message is. 
और दो दिन पहले आप वहां पहुंच के आपने सोचा काम हो जाएगा आर यू प्लेइंग पॉलिटिक्स मिस्टर सो सेट यू नो बीजेपी वॉन्ट्स टू विन ऑल दी सीट येस हमने तो कहा है कांग्रेस मुक्त भारत करना है वट आर यू गोइंग टू डू अबाउट इट डोंट एक्सपेक्ट आर्म्स फ्रॉम आस वी वी नॉट दैट चैरिटेबल वी नॉट गोइंग टू गिव आर्म्स टू एनी बडी कम राइट आउट लेट्स हैव अट लेट्स हैव इट आउट सो to say this not a level playing field we created the field for ourselves please let us see the alpha in you what are you going to create so yeah. if your people are not working hard or your leadership is incapable of delivering today the gandhi family is looking for a constituency amethi he can't go to vinod is gone i mean the leader is looking for a constituency doesn't have a constituency open challenge from smriti irani come to amethi only contest amethi let us see what you are made of and i bet he will not take it up he cannot okay so let's get responses to leave. that yeah why will the people not leave people will abandon the ship is sinking yeah let's uh, i think i think you make a fair point about the self made journey of the bjp the tesi the, made this point as a congress supporter that you know you need to go back to playing the game or play a different game but you have to play to win uh, you can't play to be an also ran uh, and that's that's the point now anurag you wanted to come in and then i'll give dilip maybe the last word yeah yeah three quick points barka yeah. you know tehsin mentioned about the changing the rules you know you, you you can't change the rules because you're not able to win you have to first win in this game or do fairly good and then talk about changing the thing be there and then change the thing that's what that's how it works and uh, so also basically you about, have to win to change the rules of the game of you course, have to you have to be you there power. I mean, uh, yeah who's exactly. going to yeah, of course you have to, and second yeah. second uh, sanman spoke about you know bjp has media and you know you know sanman If your high command is not able to give appointment to his leaders, media cannot do anything for it. No, Barkha cannot call Rahul Gandhi ki, "Bhaiya, aap Vikramaditya ko appointment do na." So Rahul has to give appointment to Vikramaditya. Barkha cannot do anything for that. So another thing, you know, Dilip mentioned very good point about you know this display of arrogance. Just adding to that, yeah. but Barkha, what I feel about Congress is, addition to arrogance, it is carelessness. You may you may feel careless. At least don't show that carelessness. I mean, with Rahul, what I see is you may feel that you know I don't care about anything. At least don't show in your body language. It demoralizes the whole party cadre. It brings down the fighting spirit in your leaders. When you say, "Ha, why har gaye? Ham, we will talk about bada change. Salman talked about ham na game dundenge. Ham ye karenge." These are all you know. Be in today. Be today and talk about today. That is what going to motivate your leaders. If you talk something that your leaders cannot understand on the ground or the Western I, advisors I, are advising you. You, I mean, the country cannot do anything for it. I, I, I want to address the elephant in the room uh, with apologies to Salman, who may think I'm being unfair here. But to Dilip, I ask the the question. Mr. Gandhi is not in the country. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra is said to be working the phone lines right now. Um, the point is, the Congress says Rahul Gandhi is a soft target for the media. So I'm just going to ask one question about this because there's a lot else to discuss. He's not here. Is that a problem? Hang on, Dilip. We need to unmute you. Yeah, now go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I think it is a problem that Rahul Gandhi is not here during a time of crisis. Mm -hmm. You have to have all hands on deck. There are no ifs and buts in politics and political management. Whether it's the corporate management that I do, the legal management that I do, one thing is certain that when there are situations of this kind. you dump and drop everything and you're with your team leading from the front that is a big problem the second problem is that you need to actually be in this game 24 by 7 into 365 there are no choices when salman says that we need to change the game you first need to play this game 24 by 7 into 365 and yeah only that will assure you a place at the table where you can start playing number 3 win anywhere you won x y z state please build out of there not try and cause confusion and complications even where you won the fact is that when you won a himachal or when you won a karnataka the congress tends to treat those people as milch cows and wants to just exploit it i think that even abhishek singhvi's nomination in himachal though salman says that you have the right to nominate from anywhere in the country the fact is that for a tiny state like that 
allowing an outsider to come and get the one Rajya Sabha seat there does stink. It causes problems. And then you've created a fertile ground for the possibility of what actually happened yesterday. Well, those are very strong words and I was going to end with them, but I have a feeling Salman might want to respond or Tehseen certainly does. So Salman, I'll maybe we'll just do another round of quick comments. Salman, go ahead. Yeah. You know, I just want to uh, I just want to address uh, uh, Dilip's point about uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi not being here and you had to be there 24 seven. This the, the, this man has been walking all over the country for the last uh, I don't know for, for the last year. All we've seen him do is pretty much walk, walk, walk. He shattered his knees walking to, uh, to with an idea in his mind, trying to uh, uh, have some outreach that nobody nobody else uh, has done in this country, at least in living memory. So that's as far as him is, uh, Rahul, Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi is concerned. Now, he's not the only leader in the Congress party. Mind you, we have a Congress president against whom actually I my, my candidate was contesting. OK, so we have a Congress president. He's handling it. We have lots of general secretaries. We have lots of senior people in, in the party who are fighting. You may not see them in front of cameras, but they are working behind the scenes. So it's not as if the party is dead, the part, nobody in the party is working, Rahul Gandhi has gone to Cambridge and no, and the party is finished. But why That's has he gone? The party but, but why has he gone? It's one month to election, one, six weeks but then, to election. This is, why this has is, he gone? This is, you know, this, this, because these, his, his message is for all Indians, not just, not just, inside the country but also I'm outside saying, the I am country saying even right a, I, I i am saying even outside of this crisis no no, no right? th this is th no barka but this is look we're talking about it right this brings a different type of exposure but at the same time the party organization is fighting this don't think that mr suku is going to or the congress party in Himachal is just going to go out I, without a fight there will I, be a fight i am only there will saying, be a fight I, I i am only saying that even the bharat jodo 2.0, uh, of which there are two opinions on whether it was a good idea, has had to be paused to for Mr. Gandhi to go to Cambridge University. I'm not sure I understand what that's adding in terms of his repertoire as a politician. That's all I'm that's the only point I'm trying to make, Salman. And I, I don't want to put you on the mat. You can't answer for his for choices he makes. Let's do a quick round of comments. Uh, Dr. Tyal, I'll allow you a final comment uh, also. Go ahead. So uh, okay. I just want to, you know, a very, very short uh, incident yeah. that yeah. once the take, once the rabbit became the the king of the jungle. Hmm. And so, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a deer came to him and said, Ki mere bache ko to share utha ke le gaya, please do something about it. So this rabbit ran all over the place into one burrow, out of another burrow, another burrow. Half an hour, he was on the job. So she said, yeah, where's my kid? says, look, I mean, there's nothing I can do with the lion, but you can't say I didn't try or I didn't work hard enough. So that is the kind of response Salman has given that he's been walking all over the country, but when the party needed him, he's not there. What, what does the party then need him for if he's walking all over yeah. the country? Okay, so, Anurag, Anurag do, you to, do you want to add to that? Tehseen, I'm giving you and yeah. Dilip just concluding remarks. So that's why. Anurag, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Barka, you know, Salman told him, this is the thing, Barka, you know, Salman said, you know, for the last one year, Rahul Gandhi was doing a Padayatra. You know, this is the typical Baba culture, Rahul Baba. You know, one year, I mean, Mr. Modi, his opponent has been doing this Yatras as Prachara for 20 years before he became the chief minister. He's still doing for the last 20 years. He'll continue to do that. That's how you fight. And that's how you put your aspirations in front of, you know, 1.5 1, 1. billion people. If you want to lead, you need to be okay. there 24 seven with the people. Okay, this debate comes up again and again. Mr. Gandhi has always ignored this criticism and done it or whatever. He's chosen to do it his own way. But the point that has been made by everybody here is that you have to win before you can change the rules of the game. And I think Dilip said that. You have to play the game before you can change the game. Tessie. Two points. I just want to add one point. There's a lot that the Congress party needs to introspect on. Number one. Everything that the Congress Party is doing is 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 not uh, reaping dividends. For example, even leaders who speak in Parliament, somebody like a Dr. Tharoor isn't given enough time to speak. Uh, these are people who can make even in Rajya Sabha can make a huge dent. So there, there's a perception battle the Congress needs to think about. I'll end with a, a small personal example of the then Organizational General Secretary Ahmed Patel. Uh, there was a very important election that uh, I think it was Rahulji's candidate and the chief minister was not very fond. I won't take the state's name, but I uh, may not have wanted that candidate to win. And Ahmed Patel was, was entrusted to making that candidate win. 
I know for a fact, and I was involved, Ahmed Patel even checked if the pen, the pen to vote was the same. So every MLA who came to vote even sent a picture because one, 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 uh, one, one whip can see who the vote is for. And that picture was sent to Ahmed Patel at that point. I'm talking about this. That is the detail Ahmed Patel operated in. Without doubt, the candidate won. The BJ, uh, the opposition did have the numbers, but the candidate uh, did win. That's how elections are won. The organizational general secretary even checked the pen, the ink. I'll tell you what he said. He said, Wo blue or black mein kabhi kabhi samaj nahi aata hai. Wo dekh lena, sahi, sahi hai ya nahi hai. He went to that extent. Are we doing it? The jury's out. And if I tweet about this, I will get Barkha, you are biased. Maria Shakil is biased. This one is, and, and it happened yesterday. Maybe everybody is not wrong. Maybe the fault is within us. Maybe we should pause and look within and see what we can do yeah. better. Maybe sometimes that may help. Okay. Dilip, uh, we're going to attempt to give you the closing word once again and, and hope you don't provoke us into another round of comments. Go ahead. No, no, I, think that, I think that we need to recognize that the nature of politics and the nature of politicians has changed. Perhaps it's a reflection of the fact that citizens have changed. And we don't know. Meaning, yeah. we are constantly harking back to a different time. Maybe today's voter is much more forgiving of fungible politics and fungible values. I don't know. Let's watch. Yeah, I think that is indeed a, a thought that there's this kind of cynicism ki ye to sabhi karte hain about a lot of things that that are, that were once considered amoral. I won't say immoral, but amoral. Uh, there is a perception that everybody does the same when they have a chance to do it. And therefore, people aren't responding to this kind of cross voting with a kind of moral outrage. They're instead watching this as a political thriller, as a house of cards moment. Kiski sarkar giregi, kiski sarkar bachegi. And I know, Salman, uh, that may cause you grief but i think there is a churn there's a churn it's it's a little bit like media i don't like a lot of changes in media but i can't just sit there lamenting all day i have to still get out there every day and do the best i can and try and read the mood of the market and adapt to it the best i can without changing the core of me right because if i'm not there what good is it going to be to, for me to say every day with the nine o'clock news on tv is shit so just leaving you with an analogy, uh, you've got to play the game before you can change the game. And uh, and I think you've got to play 24-7. And therefore, I think apart from everything else, Mr. Gandhi being away at this point is really curious. Uh, and that's that's me using a very considered word. Thank you very much, uh, Anurag, Dr. Tayal, Dilip Cherry, and Salman Soz, and Esin Kunawala. And to our audience, thank you so much. Take care and see you soon. Mojo Story has always made a commitment to its viewers to go to where the story is. And as you can see here, we are at the epicenter of the Israel war on Gaza. We are right at the front line, about one mile from the Gaza Strip, as is the Israeli military gets ready with its tanks and its gunners to begin its final frontal assault that will take troops into Gaza. As we said, we are not like other organizations. We believe in giving you all sides of the story objectively and as much as possible from the ground. And that's exactly what we're doing here, covering the biggest global story today from the epicenter of the war zone. So please, we need your support. Support us, become a Mojo member, subscribe to us, spread the word and thank you for your support.